welcome to my new video which is based on the topic calculus. So, we are going to discuss about calculus. Are you familiar with the word calculus? Yes, you are. Calculus is basically different, uh, divided into two groups, differential calculus and integral calculus. Today, we are going to study about differential calculus. Alright? So, basically what it is it? We are going to study. Let us suppose we have fx, a function of x. Okay? And we assume fx as y. So, differential equation, so differentiation of y is denoted by y dash. y dash means differentiation of y. This is a symbol for differentiation. Differentiation of y with respect to x. If we want to differentiate y with respect to z or any other uh, variable, then we write it like this. Alright? So, let us suppose our function is x raised to power n. So, our differentiation becomes, this power comes in front of as a coefficient and power reduced by 1. For example, differentiation of x cube becomes, 3 comes as a coefficient and what is, what we get? x square. Alright? Secondly, the differentiation of function, if y is equal to sin x, then differentiate of sin x is cos x. These are some formulas. The differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. Differentiation of cos x is minus cos x cot x. Differentiation of cot x is minus cos x square x. Differentiation of 10x is sec square x and differentiation of sec x is sec x 10x. Differentiation of a raised to power x is a raised to power x log a and so on. These are some formulas. Let us try to understand differentiation further with the topic with some examples, okay? And with some rules. Like, firstly, we are going to discuss about product rule. Let us take an example. If we have to differentiate this function with respect to x, alright? So, on doing differentiation with respect to x, what we get is dy by dx is equal to this becomes 3x square, this becomes 2x, this becomes 1. And the differentiation for any constant number is 0. Why it be 0? It is because, let us suppose 1, we have to differentiate it with respect to x. So, we need any expression for x in this. So, can we write this like x raised to power 0? Yes, of course. So, basically the formula of this is 0 comes and this becomes like this. So, what we get? We get 0. So, constant, for any constant, the value of differentiation of x is 0. Okay? Move on. This is what we have done in first order differentiation. Now, we are talking about what is order and what is degree. As we do differentiation only one time, so order is 1 here. Okay? Order is 1. Now, if you again differentiate it with respect to x, then goes like this. D2y by dx square means differentiation of dy by dx. Listen. Differentiation with respect to x? Differentiation of what? This. 
So what, what it becomes? D2y by dx square. Alright? So this becomes, again differentiate this function. Now you cheat. This has a question. 3 2s are 6, 6 plus 2 and for constant it is 0. So this is double differentiation. And if you want, you can again further differentiate up to many till it gets 0. Alright? So order for this is second. This is second order differential. Differentiation, this is first order differentiation, okay? For first order, we write it like this, y1 or y dash. For this, y2 or y double dash. These prime numbers represent how many times differentiation going on. Means, as we do differentiation one time, so this is y1 or y dash. If we do differentiation two times, this becomes y double dash or y2. I hope you understand very well. So, moving on to our rules. Firstly, we are going to study about product rule. As we see in our last example, we do the differentiation of this. But, what about this? If we have to differentiate two functions having product operation, then what we do? Then we do the formula is, if the function is the product of two functions, two functions are u and v here. So differentiation of these two functions become, you have to take differentiation of first and take second common, that is as it is, and apply plus operation in between these two. Then again see, as you did differentiation of u here, v is constant. Now u, is, u remains constant and you have to differentiate v. Okay? Let us take an example. We have to differentiate it with respect to x. Okay? So what we do, y dash becomes differentiate with respect to x. This is our first function. Consider as u and v. You can take u and v, whatever x is 1, differentiation of x, sin x as it is, plus x as it is, differentiation of sin x. Alright? Now, differentiation of x is what? 1, as we see in previous, sin x remains as it is, plus x, the differentiation of sin x according to formula, yeah, alright? Sin x is cos x, okay? So this is what we have the answer, the differentiation of this function, okay? Now, second rule is, second rule is our quotient rule. What it is? Yes, quotient rule. For this, we study the example of x sin x. Now, let us take x upon sin x. Alright? You can do the differentiation of this with two methods. Whether you can write 1 upon sin x as cos x. As you know, the reciprocal of sin is cos x. Reciprocal of 10 is cot. And reciprocal of sac is cos. So, this becomes x cos x. Now you can uh, rewrite it or differentiate it with respect to product rule. Okay? But, if you want to differentiate this x upon sin x, then you have to treat it as numerator and denominator. So, the formula becomes, let us take numerator as any function like u. And v is denominator here, any function. So the formula for quotient rule is quotient. Means they, uh, we divide each other, u and v. So denominator square, you have to do firstly denominator square. And in numerator, you have.